here's my race kit. Uh, I have this uh, polishing stone to polish, shine these up really good. Helps the car go over the track a little better. I have an extra body for my car. It's not muscle car night, so I'm going to race the Ferrari. Or else I put one of these bodies on this one. This Ferrari is my main, uh, the main racer. I usually use one, the Ferrari or this body here. It helps because the way it's shaped. To uh, if there's a car in front of you across the track, it'll help you go under it instead of over it and off the track. And these are my muscle car bodies. Uh, this one here, I keep th this chassis. I keep for. Uh, my backup it's sort of slow this one here is the fastest car I I've had and it's the fastest car I've seen on the track but uh, this is all original except for the rear tires the shoes the springs and the, I think it's called brushes. Everything else is stock. And if you look at the bottom, you'll notice how these here, is this copper plates in there, they're all flat. And that helps with the speed of the car and making sure those brushes are touching the mo bottom of the motor plate really good. This car here, you can see how they're bent. Well, maybe you can't in the video. But right in here, right near the top of my thumb, it's got a little bend in it, and that uh, doesn't put enough pressure on the uh, brushes underneath the motor, and it makes it go slower, and it's just not good. So this car, you can't fix stuff like that. Once it's bent, it's bent. And it's pinched right there because we tried to bend it back, but got it as good as we could. Still runs pretty good, but these are my track parts that I keep at the side. I can only have uh, one extra pair, I believe. No, I can't have any of these. I can only have uh, two cars at the track side, and they have to be complete cars. I mean, there are some exceptions. I mean, if something happens, like a piece breaks off or something of both of your cars, and um, they usually let you grab a part, fix it really quick, and stuff like that. Uh, this is like my pre-race kit. These are uh, these. I had I lost the original springs that were in the car. This is uh, this is from the 70s here, and uh, it was all original when I got it, new old stock. It uh, runs pretty good. I'm sort of surprised. Everything's original in it. Didn't change any gears. The back screw I had to replace because I lost it. And uh, we're not supposed to use the, the bottom screws, but until I can find a flat screw like this here, I, I have to deal with this one here. This one spring in the front, in the center. I can get this camera to stay still. That spring right there is a new spring. These ones here are squished a little bit, and these are squished a, a little bit more. And that all helps with uh, with the car bouncing on the track. And if you got a fast car that bounces, you just have to squish your springs. Uh, just a little bit and it'll help with that bounce These are the original tires that came with the car These are all made in the 70s and stuff. I'm surprised there's no dry rot. I don't know where they get these tires from But you can still buy the tires too These are the original uh, brushes 
they haven't been they were only used like maybe one or two races and then I decided to change them out for the newer replacements and I notched those in there you can have the one notch there or you can have the X notch so that way it touches it stays set on the uh, on that sp little spring that's in there this is a brand new set of shoes as they're sort of corroded I've been playing with them every now and then checking every now and then I gotta check which ones are the new ones and put those on and these ones here I, one of these pairs were one of these two pairs were the originals probably these ones here because they're discolored I didn't want to use any of the original stuff to race because you can upgrade your uh, your brushes shoes and springs and stuff and rear tires and that's about it you can't upgrade anything else and this car has some squish springs in it but uh, yeah, I'm going to clean this all up and go racing tonight. So this is my home pit. I'll do another video at the race where I'll... Sh I, I don't have any lube uh, here, any oil. So I got to wait until I get to the track in order to oil up the car. But I'm going to take it apart, run, get all the old oil that's been in the car out of there and use some uh, 2000 to 5000 grit liquid sandpaper by 3M and polish up all my gears and stuff cuz I haven't run the, I haven't run any of these cars in uh, probably 6 to 8 months so I got to polish everything up and I'll turn the camera back on after I'm done and show you what I did and I'll make some little short clips of stuff on how to how to fix up the car and keep it fully stock and some guys buy the new uh, the new pickup shoes because they carry the electricity a little quicker but uh, they're all pretty much stock the older ones used a different uh, mix of their copper and stuff it's more solid copper this one I believe these newer ones uh, aftermarket ones have have some other mix in there that they allow 